Hello and welcome back to another video and this video is going to be inspired by the Blackpool Tower photo that has been taken a little while ago. I don't know exactly when it was taken but the topic has really exploded thanks to Ranty the Flat Earther who analyzed this photo and has concluded that the earth is not flat after all. And that has sent the flat earth community into a tailspin and there are many discussions that have occurred before and since this photo has been taken. But what makes my video today possible is in my research for elevation data i found this website here that has led me to this website here and the person who made this website has a link to a google drive that allows you to download a zip file of the elevation data for the entire globe and so as you can see that's what i'm doing right now but the combination of this website and Ruhif's latest video and here you can see in this section here he's annotated the tops of each of these hills and in this case he's panning across the image. So I ended up grabbing a number of stills from this video, stitched them back together into a panorama like this and at this point I was finally ready to lay the foundation for this video. So the key question is by looking at this photo can we conclude that the earth is a globe or can we conclude that the earth is flat. In my previous video, I think it was my last video, I tried to measure the Earth's radius and I hit a bit of a roadblock and from my last video I worked on a mode to the app that I was developing that allowed me to grab the elevation data for a section of the world, place myself somewhere and look out towards the direction that that photo was taken and to have the computer generate the skyline either using the globe earth model or the flat earth model. At this point there are still a few things that are hard-coded such as where I'm standing, how high up, what direction I'm facing, what the elevation data is that I want loaded, but it was very trivial once I had the code written for my last video to switch to the view for the Blackpool Tower. If people are interested, I can explain how I go about calculating the skyline profile for the globe mode and or for the flat earth mode. But for today's video, as you can see, I calculate what the skyline should look like based on the data that I was able to get. I got the location of the Blackpool Tower along with its height. I could calculate the distance and its height relative to the hills and the mountains behind it. I had an idea for how I can go about fixing this up and I'm probably going to end up adding more functionality working more on this but I do intend to also be able to import an image like this and overlay on top of that the skyline in a similar way that I do overlaying the computed position of all of the stars the sun and the moon on an image that you see like this but the point of today's video is to show how the computed model for a globe earth this is the standard earth's radius with no refraction it should be 7r over 6 rather than 1r over 1 but as you can see the globe earth model has blackpool tower clearly higher than all of the mountains that you see here and if i change it to the flat earth model you can see that the mountains behind blackpool tower should appear larger than the tower itself. I also stacked the photo along with my computed skyline in GIMP in different layers and for comparison here is my computed globe earth skyline and here is my computed flat earth skyline. Once again this shows that the mathematical models of a spherical earth match what we see in the real world therefore the real world is a spherical object and is not a flat plane like the flat earthers would like one to believe so that's going to be it for the moment 
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, I would appreciate a subscribe. And while you're here, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. That's going to be it for today. Bye for now.